power to the faint. And to them that have no might, he increases strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young, the young men, shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. What we have to remember is that God is for you. God understands your struggles. He understands why you struggle. And no matter who we are, no matter how long we've been saved and walking with the Lord, no matter how well we may think we know him, and no matter how little we may think we know him, God is right there with us equally. What you have to remember is God knows why you have the hangups you have. He knows why I have the weaknesses I have. He knows why we have the idiosyncrasies we have. Why we have to struggle with certain parts of our flesh. What makes us get burdened down? What trips our feet up? Why? Where that comes from? Now, there are times God will have you look in the past, but he's not having you look to long after it. He's having you look to understand from whence some of your problems come. And when he gives you understanding of why you have some of the issues you have, you begin the healing process. That's when healing begins. Because when you look at it, you're looking at it through the eyes of truth, not through rationalization. Now, and not through blame, blaming others. So what God wants you to understand is he wants holiness. Yes, he wants perfection. He wants wholeness. He wants all that. But he wants you to go to him to get you there. You can't get there by yourself. You can't chart your own course. God will allow the vicissitudes of life and the problems, the trials, the challenges, the setbacks, the failures. He will allow all of that to get you from point A to point B, from point B to point G, from point G to point M. He will get you from glory to glory, from strength to strength. However, you have to stay in his pathway. You have to do it according to his rules. You have to follow the leading of the Holy Spirit that he has placed in you. You can't follow the whims of your flesh. You can't lean on your own understanding. You will jack it up while Jack is jumping out the box and Jack will be in control rather than the Lord. You cannot get frustrated with yourself. Jesus said himself, when it comes to bearing fruit, some bear a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, and some thirtyfold. Am I right? All right. Knowing that, you have to look at yourself like you do students in a classroom. Some students are whizzes. Things come easy for them to understand, to learn, to, to grasp. Others take a little more work, but one, and they will apply themselves. And once they get it, they got it down pat. But then you get some of the other ones that get frustrated and they cry when they can't get it. And they they get depressed when they don't understand it and they feel stupid and they feel slow and yeah. But that doesn't mean they're stupid and slow. It means that they have to learn a certain way. And see what I love about God 
and what you should appreciate about him is he will deal with you individually, not according to the group. He, he deals with you individually. He knows this one is sensual, which means they learn through their senses. They gather through their senses. Another one is very literal. They gather through word, word, word. Another person, they gather through concepts. We learn different ways. We get understanding in different ways. And that's the way God deals with us. So some of you may take five years to get it, while another person may take five months. See, it doesn't matter how long it takes to get it. The bottom line is when that day comes, the fullness of time comes, you got it. That's the point. There is no grading system where you get left behind if you don't get it in five months. So number one, you have to stop comparing yourself to those that do. Because God does not. He tells us not to do that. You will frustrate yourself. You will give up the ghost on walking with God if you keep looking at those that seem to get it together a whole lot faster than you do. You have to be patient with yourself. You did not create yourself. You don't even understand half of what makes you tick. But God does. <laughs>